Well, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Speaker Pelosi, and to all of our chairs, Pallone, Neal, and Scott. I thank you for your hard work in putting this bill together and continuing to make it stronger. Uh, also, it's good to be here with my fellow freshman, uh, Congresswoman Katie Hill. We were both elected to get something done on this very issue. The high cost of health care and the high price of prescription drugs are the things I hear most about when I go home to North Texas. At a recent roundtable in Garland, Texas, I heard from Shane, who was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes when she was in college. Shane has a good job that pays her well, but with the high cost of insurance and the high cost of her insulin, she said she has to think twice about going to the doctor and how much insulin she uses. Fighting back tears, Shane told me she wants to stay healthy so she is not a burden on the healthcare system, but she struggles to do that as costs go up and up and up. She told me how she stands in line and wonders if she's going to be able to afford the insulin she needs to stay alive. That's sadly all too common as one in four folks with diabetes ration their insulin because of the high cost. People are hurting. American seniors and families should not have to pay more for their medicines than what the drug companies charge people in other countries for the same drugs. It's just common sense. There's bipartisan agreement here. The president said he supported efforts to lower the cost of prescription drugs, and this bill does just that. Through powerful new, tilt, new tools, Medicare will negotiate directly to lower drug prices and stop the price gouging that is hurting the American people. This will lower drug prices for all Americans, including those with private insurance. North Texas gave me the opportunity of a lifetime to represent my home in Congress. I was raised by a single mother who was a public school teacher in Dallas. I was a YMCA kid, and it's because of my community in North Texas that I've been able to chase my version of the American dream. But sadly, the cost of prescription drugs is making it harder for too many of our fellow Americans to chase theirs. We cannot let the crippling cost of, pre of prescription drugs get in the way of someone living their version of the American dream. I'm ready to get to work to help pass this bill and to work with leaders in both parties to get it signed into, into law. Thank you to everyone who's been a part of this. And with that, I'm honored to turn over to my colleague from California, Congresswoman Katie Hill.